Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. In this system spotlight, we are using a Flex HTX in an active three-way speaker system with stereo subwoofers. Going forward, we will refer to this as a four-way active system. If you are not familiar with the Flex HTX, please watch our overview of Mini DSP Flex HTX using device console video before exploring this system spotlight. This system block diagram shows the components of our active four-way stereo design. The signal flow diagram for this example shows a two-channel stereo input, which is then divided into four active channels for each of the left and right speaker groups. Using the active output channels page, we optimize the crossovers, delays, gains, and polarities. Using the channel routing page, we will direct the left and right inputs into the Dirac PEQ processing section. The overall stereo system can be calibrated using either Dirac or PEQ with REW. This step is completed after all of the individual speaker driver PEQs, crossovers, delay, gain, and inversion settings have been finalized. Using the Dirac channel selections page, you will elect to perform Dirac only on the main left and right channels. Again, Dirac or PEQ room corrections will be completed after all of the settings on the output page have been tested and validated by careful listening. Next, the matrix mixer separates the left and right inputs into the four active output channels per stereo side, for a total of eight. After this separation, the crossovers, delays, gains, and polarities need to be optimized using the output channels page. In our four-way active system, we applied the following primary controls on each output channel. PEQ, crossovers, delay, gain, and inversion. The goal here is to configure and optimize your active four-way system prior to overall system room correction. This plot shows what a typical active four-way crossover looks like in the output channel's PEQ. For each filter, we can set high pass, low pass, crossover slope, and crossover type. You can choose from 12 crossover slopes and types, ranging from 6 to 48 dB per octave. For more information, check out our crossover basics with device console video on our website or YouTube. You can download a blank signal flow diagram worksheet from the resources section of our website and use it to sketch ideas for your system layout before implementation. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.